Hi there. Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. We got a pump house cut out today. Now hopefully these bees will cooperate. It's hot as blue blazes up in here and and uh, trying to cool it off. I got my smoker going, working around five, six gas cans with my smoker. <laughs> I might set these outside. Anyway, there's the there's the uh, bottom hole. Looks like the hive's gonna go the full length of that stud cavity. It's about five foot six in here, something like that. Thankfully, the ceiling is open and I can stand up. We got some pretty bad weather rolling in, so I'm going to wear this to open it up just to until I see how they act, and then I'll probably take it off because any help with airflow is welcome. Do the whole shot. Let's see what we got. All right, with that little bit of information, I've already cut this, but I don't think I'm going to pull the bottom off. I got about a foot and a half run up top. I'm just gonna open that up and I think I'll have access to the whole hive up there. over for the queen on this and then I'll throw this outside all these bees will come right back in the entrance that's a healthy colony how'd you like to have that in your pump house <laughs> yeah. honey loaded too and brood loaded well I thought I was gonna get away with not pulling this but I guess I might have to pull this bottom too Got all that open larva and, and uh, open brood and eggs. We got a laying queen in here. He's got to find her. The search is on. Started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> yeah, that was cheesy.
Right, this is where I'm at. I've cut about 14 inches out the bottom of it. And uh, got them clustering up pretty tight on the combs and they're getting tight enough. I'm getting tagged in the fingertips and stuff from accidentally grabbing bees. So thick enough, I'm fixing that to start vacuuming so I can make room to work. And also we got a new beekeeper. Uh, <laughs> I say new bee, he's not a new beekeeper. He's new to the channel. Y'all don't know him yet. This is Jeff. How's it going? Misky, not Horchoff. <laughs> he's gonna frame comb while I'm vacuuming and cutting. And uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna vac real quick, knock some numbers down so I can handle this stuff because they're really starting to wear on my fingertips a little bit. Looks like we're about what would you say halfway through? Halfway. About halfway, we're. Uh, probably 75% through the brood. Top end's honey. And you got a lot of chewed caps. Part of that is because I smoked them pretty good in the beginning, but uh, probably the majority of that is because we're in a dearth right now and not a lot for them to eat, so they're starting to dig into their refrigerator here, or their pantry. Still looking for the queen right now. Uh, how, how much brood we got framed up? Two, two and a half. Two and a half frames, and then we got some drone brood in here and some open uh, worker brood that I'm not going to frame up. All this right here is drone brood, so we're this. This is the difference in drone worker brood is the cell size. So this division right here is where it goes to the larger cells. You can see the difference in brood and worker cell size there. A lot of people want to know that. And this is all worker brood up here. Got a lot of good, a lot of cap brood, which is good. I don't like to frame a lot of uh, eggs or open brood on these cutouts, especially later in the year, because the hive beetles just decimate it. You think you got a good cutout, and you get home and put it up, and come back a few days later, and the bees have, have absconded, and the hives just eat up with hive beetle larvae. So. Uh, there are hive beetles in here, not not a heck of a lot, but I've seen a good dozen or so running around. So we want to keep any of the chance of that down as much as we can. So right now we're we're just cutting out the uh, brood combs right now that will save the honey for last. That's the messiest part, and also the bees are clustering up inside of there. We're we're still on search for the queen. We're going to have to be careful not to kill her or. Uh, try not to back her up, but if we do, we do. We, we got a storm overhead right now, and it's sprinkling on us a little bit. It's thunder and lightning, so we're good thing we're working inside in a fan. Got a little breeze going. This is this is a queen search right here. You just sit here and look, just watch, <laughs> and hope she sticks her head out somewhere. And if she don't, you cut some more brood and look again. Cut some more combs and look again. And just getting warmed up for a cutout. He's got plan and yep, what, what a couple days. A couple days. You got another one to do. Oh yeah. I think he was headed to the house to relax, and instead he's up here hanging out. I just put, I put that kind of screen.
biter. I just got a call that there's killer bees clustered on a gas station canopy. <laughs> they came off of a truck. Now we all know trucks ain't transporting killer bees, so this is all blown out of proportion, but I gotta go up here and get them. They say the cops are up here and it's all over Facebook and stuff. I think uh, somebody was selling a bill of goods because I don't see a single cop and they got the gas pumps roped off. There's a couple of night guards out here looking, looking out. What you got? Got bees on this side, that side, and that white pole right there. They're starting to wrap around it. Bee truck coming here about five hours ago, and that's what he left. <laughs> <laughs> Two sides, and where it? And that pole, that pole right there. They're starting to wrap around the other side of that pole. All right, let's see if we can get them. There's the front of the canopy. Another little bit on the side, and there's. A, looks like a pretty good, looks like the buck of them on the top of this pole. You can't really see probably because of the lights killing it. I got my paint pole with my back hose taped to the end of it. Fishing to get to work. We got a headlight. That's the side, That's, we got about five or six times the amount of that off the front. And then here's the uh, biggest bulk of them. I don't know, I guess it's about the size of what we got off the front. That one there's gonna be hard to back without knocking them down because they're so thick in there. I'm gonna have to take that small tip off that hose, try to get up in them with the open end of that hose. Just got done setting those gas station bees up there in that four stack right there. I know those lights blowing the video out. So my dad's got all his bottom boards stapled to boxes already, stapled to deeps, 10 frames. So that bottom has frames in it. The next two up are empties with the back basket in it. And then the top deep has frames in it. And then uh, so all I do is stick the back basket inside these two medium or these two middle boxes Flip the lid over where they can get out Got a feeder on there. They'll they'll work their way up into that top box overnight Tomorrow we'll come out and remove those two boxes there And put a queen in there with them because they don't have a queen